Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece, and today I'm going to present to you 10 mighty characters who can defeat Kaido, according to CBR.com. Which, if you're not familiar with them, then good, that's a positive. But secondly, it basically stands for comic book resources, and they are quite possibly the undisputed masters of clickbait in the anime world. Although actually, Watch Mojo might give them a run for their money, but it's a very close race. I certainly wouldn't be betting my life savings on it. But this particular topic of theirs, which I will remind you is 10 characters who can beat Kaido. Emphasis on the can portion of that. Well, this is quite an interesting read because quite frankly, I would struggle to come up with five characters who I think would definitively be able to beat Kaido. But CBR have well and truly outdone me here by managing to come up with a whole 10 characters who can allegedly pull off this feat. So we're going to go through their list here today because I am super curious about who these 10 individuals are. And just before we begin, we're going to have some fun with this video because I want you to comment right now how many characters Characters there will be on this list who can actually beat Kaido. I will accept answers ranging from zero all the way to all 10 characters. Comment with your bet now and just be aware that if you are wrong, you will need to subscribe to this channel as punishment. All clear? Great. Well then, let's begin our exploration of 10 characters who can beat Kaido. Ranked, apparently. Number 10. Monkey D. Luffy. <laughs> oh no. The captain of the Straw Hat Pirates, Luffy is the man known as the fifth Yonko of the sea. And yeah, we're not even one sentence into this article and I already need to point out that this person probably doesn't actually watch or read One Piece since they've basically said that Luffy is the fifth fourth emperor of the sea. We are off to a fantastic start. With a bounty of 1.5 billion, Luffy is already a fearsome pirate. When compared to Kaido, Luffy is in no way equal to him yet. <laughs> then why is he on the list? Remember, this is 10 characters who can beat Kaido. However, Luffy aims to take down Kaido at Wano Country, and when he says something, he certainly does it. Whether he'll be stronger than Kaido or not is a completely different question, but we're certain that Luffy will defeat Kaido one way or the other. Great, so the first of these 10 characters who can beat Kaido is a boy who the author admits is nowhere near equal to Kaido and has no idea how he even could defeat Kaido. Seems legit. In all fairness though, I do take the point that Luffy is the main character and one way or another, he will be involved in Kaido's defeat, but you need to at least like use your words to make that argument. I mean, there's all sorts of fancy terms available, like say, the narrative demands that Luffy will overcome Kaido, but then again, that probably wouldn't pass the CPR quality check, by which I mean they scan for quality and deliberately make sure that none of it gets into their articles. In any case, we're definitely not counting Luffy, so that's zero out of one character so far who can beat Kaido. Number nine, Akainu. The current fleet admiral of the Marine. Marine, singular there, not plural? Nope, singular. I suppose after the Paramount War, they must've had some pretty serious budget cuts. So much so that there is now only one Marine employed and I guess that's Sakazuki. And this is a really picky thing because I know that people get these confused all the time, but Akainu, after being promoted to fleet admiral, no longer uses the Akainu epithet. It's just Sakazuki now, which is his real name. And I don't begrudge any One Piece fans for being confused by that. However, I do begrudge an author whose job it is to at least sound like they know what they're talking about. According to Oda, his devil fruit boasts the offensive power of the highest class. That along with his top tier haki gives him a strong footing against Kaido. Of course, defeating Kaido will likely be an uphill task for Akainu, but as tenacious as he is, there is a possibility that he'll pull it off. And look, yeah, I wouldn't dismiss Sakazuki easily at all, but even the writer here is admitting that it's going to be incredibly unlikely for Sakazuki to win. But they do cite the slim chance that he could possibly win. But then again, we could also say the same thing about Tonjit. It's going to be an uphill task for Tonjit, but if Kaido happens to say, suffer a congenital heart defect moments before stepping into combat, then well, there is the possibility that Tonjit will pull it off. So I think we should add him to the list. Number eight. Sengoku. The former fleet admiral of the Marines, Sengoku is a man of many talents. Apart from his incredible strength, he is also a shrewd man known for his sneaky tactics. Sengoku is one of the legends of the One Piece world, having history against the likes of Roger and Whitebeard. And I don't think I've ever heard someone say history against. I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong and it is the internet, so you will. But surely it would be Sengoku has a history with Whitebeard and Roger. I don't think he has a history 
against them. Unless the writer means that he has fought against them before, in which case maybe actually say that. And for anyone who thinks that I might be being a bit too harsh with comments surrounding the use of English, just remember that this is not some random commenter on the internet. This is someone who was paid to write an article for a very prolific website, and even if they do get the facts wrong, they should still have, you know, a basic command of language. As such, there's no reason why he shouldn't be able to defeat Kaido in a fight. Mm hmm. All right, I guess I should probably point out that you still haven't given me a reason why he would defeat Kaido in a fight. All you've said is that he has a history against Whitebeard and Roger. And whatever that means, that could be a bad history. It could be the kind of history where Sengoku repeatedly lost to both of them, which proves nothing to anything about anyone, ever. And that's the problem with trying to scale characters like Sengoku because there's no point of reference. It's all just assumptions and assumptions alone do not a Kaido defeat. Number seven. Garp. Also renowned as Garp the Hero and Garp the Fist, Monkey D. Garp, oh, that's a lot of Garps, is a Vice Admiral of the Marines. Being their strongest known member in history, there's no denying that Garp is capable of taking on Kaido. Yeah, sure, look, let's be real with this one. Garp is someone that I would probably seriously consider, but it's highly dependent on what Garp we're talking about, as the author goes on to state. Although he may not be able to defeat him as he is now, in his prime, Garp would certainly prove to be more than a challenge for Kaido. And yeah, shockingly enough, I agree. Garp in his prime versus modern day Kaido would be an amazing match to see. Should time travel exist, that is, and actually I suppose it technically does in one piece. So sure, this is the first reasonable candidate on this list. Number six, Dragon. All right, now we have another unreasonable candidate. The son of Garp, Dragon is the leader of the revolutionary army in One Piece. I guess just in case we've gotten halfway through this article and forgotten what series we're talking about. And also the worst criminal in history according to the world government. Although much of Dragon's strength remains unknown, the fact that he's managed to challenge the government head on and even give them a hard time implies that Dragon is very powerful. And yes, it certainly does. But does it imply physical strength or say political power? Is Dragon able to challenge the world government because he physically fights against them, which we've never seen? Or is he able to challenge them by causing uprisings, changing people's ideologies, intercepting supplies, and any number of other things that he's actually been shown, you know, doing. I mean, Dragon is probably almost certainly significantly powerful, but at this stage, there is no way to know anything, let alone judge him as someone capable of beating Kaido. Number five, Shanks. Akin to Kaido, Shanks is one of the Yonko of the sea. According to Brand New, Shanks is the youngest of the Yonko, having been given the title about six years prior to the current timeline. Like Dragon, most of Shanks' strength remains shrouded in mystery. It is speculated that Shanks uses just Haki to defeat his opponents, and that's some incredible feat for a Yonko. Some incredible feat. Yeah, they are. So the thing that really annoys me about this is that yes, Shanks is mostly a bit of a mystery power wise, and I probably wouldn't put him comfortably on a list like this myself, but as opposed to Dragon, there is actual evidence that Shanks could maybe stand up to Kaido, which is the sky splitting clash with Whitebeard. This is a tangible act of power and a fantastic piece of evidence that is nowhere to be seen in this explanation. Instead, the writer chooses to focus on Shanks defeating opponents with just Haki. And there's nothing particularly special about that. In fact, even Luffy has defeated opponents with just Haki. In any case, this continues. Whether Shanks can defeat Kaido or not is unknown. Oh. But he certainly is on par with Kaido, if not stronger. What? What is this sentence? So if I'm reading this right, Shanks is either equal to or stronger than Kaido, but with that in mind, the author is still unsure if Shanks would be able to defeat him, despite putting him on this definitive list of characters who can defeat Kaido. There is some serious like mental whiplash happening here because by the very nature of the article, you are claiming that Shanks can beat Kaido. However, you then say it's completely unknown whether or not Shanks can indeed do that, which is fine, but in that case, don't put him on the list. But then you go on to say that Shanks is at the very least equal to, if not stronger than Kaido with no stated evidence, which is cool, but in which case don't state that his victory is unknown because if we were to accept the second part of your sentence, then yes, he could do it. I mean, it's like every line in this article is designed to contradict the previous one. Interestingly, the two have fought once in the new world and Shanks emerged unscathed at Marineford after the fight. This is not true, or at least it's unknown. And I've made a whole video 
video on this topic, so I won't go into it too deeply, but it has never once been confirmed that Shanks and Kaido even met face to face, let alone engaged in battle, let alone one that had Shanks coming out on top. So, uh, number four, Big Mom. Yeah, nothing to complain about whatsoever here. Big Mom is a perfectly reasonable choice, and I think she is certainly the greatest example we have of a character who is equal to Kaido. I will, however, remind you at this point that this list is actually called 10 Characters Who Can Beat Kaido Ranked. So we've actually been going in order of the characters most likely to beat Kaido. And that's important because Big Mom is number four, meaning that there are three characters left who this author would imply can defeat Kaido, I suppose, more than Big Mom can, because remember, all of these characters can defeat Kaido, despite the fact that the author continuously says that they can't in their actual descriptions. But in number three, we have Blackbeard. Blackbeard. Yeah. The Admiral of the Blackbeard Pirates, Marshal D. Teach, also known as Blackbeard, is likely the main antagonist of the entire One Piece series. He holds tremendous power, which saw him rise to the status of a Yonko during the two year time skip. And that's nice. It's like a good opening line to a Wikipedia page, but it's nothing even approaching an argument as to how Blackbeard defeats Kaido. Remember, this is a man who we have not seen in action post time skip, and his pre time skip showings were, um, eh, not impressive to say the least. Blackbeard wields two devil fruit powers, which include the Paramecia type Gurugurunumi and the Logia type Yami Yami no Mi. Claiming to be the strongest in the world, Blackbeard has a good chance of taking down Kaido in a fight. And there's some more false information here. Firstly, Blackbeard has never claimed to be the strongest in the world. And secondly, if the author is referring to the devil fruits, then that's still not true. Depending on your translation, the Yami Yami no Mi is either the most dangerous or the most evil fruit. And the Gurugurunumi enemy is said to be the most powerful of the Paramecia class, both of which are still admittedly pretty damn amazing, but there is currently nothing but speculation to say that Blackbeard could so much as stand up to Kaido. And to finish this off, I will say that ranks one and two are Whitebeard and Roger respectively, both of whom are legitimate candidates, the strongest man in the world and the Pirate King. I think with what we know, it's fair enough to say that they could both beat Kaido if they were alive and in their prime, that is. So let's skip them and total things up here. So we have Roger, Whitebeard, Big Mom, and Garp, who could reasonably be stated to be able to defeat Kaido. Every other character on this list is pure speculation or utter absurdity. Shanks is the only one who you could maybe make an argument for, but the writer chose not to do that, so whatever, let's can him. So on this list of 10 characters who can defeat Kaido, we have ascertained that less than half of them actually could. So if you said four characters, then congratulations, you win the bet that we made at the beginning of the video. But if you guessed any other number, then you, yes you, need to subscribe to the Grand Line Review. You. That was the bargain, do not try to argue with me. But in conclusion, CBR is terrible and the Grand Line review is slightly less terrible. But what do you guys think? Please do leave your thoughts in the comments below or even join my Discord server. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please do go and check out some of my other content or even subscribe to the channel for more glorious One Piece business uploaded straight into your YouTube feeds. But for now, this has been the Grand Line review and I'll see you next time.